working behind the screen can compress your ulnar nerve in the elbow and can also compress the median, median nerve here in the carpal tunnel area. And very often when you're being treated for these conditions, well, the treatment is a very local treatment. We're, going, we're looking at surgical decompression of the nerves or physical therapy to decompress the nerves. What I want to show you in this video is that, well, there are a number of other explanations, simpler explanations, but which you should not underestimate before going to the surgeon. And in particular, we're going to look at your posture and the way you adjust your chair. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual. The underlying idea behind what we're going to discuss is that somehow your body needs stability somewhere. Okay? And when you sit well, the stability comes from having your pelvis deep against the lumbar support and you see when i'm here well basically i don't need my arms to support my weight the weight is carried by the chair in this area and to do that well i need strong support from the feet because this support here will create a push on the ground that will bring me back into the seat pan where my pelvis is going to meet the lumbar support and actually the rest of the backrest, but you see that I barely use the rest of the backrest. And as a result, I'm free to type here. But now, what happens if you lack stability in your pelvis? Well, I'm simply going to go like this, for example, and you see that if I don't want to end up under the desk, I'll need to stop my body from sliding, and to do that, I will have to rest my weight somewhere. And this somewhere will always be on your forearms. It will be on your forearms, on your armrests, or it will be here, or it will be here. Yeah? And here, we're talking about the two areas that I mentioned. So basically, reason number one that you should not underestimate for pressure in these areas is pelvic instability. Pelvic instability can be due to the fact that your feet are far forward. It can be due to the fact that your chair is too high and as your chair is too high, well, you slide forward until you meet the ground, but by then you're far away from the lumbar support. Pelvic stability can also come from a seat pan, which is just slippery, you know, slippery, for example, because it's an old leather chair. Pelvic instability can also come from discomfort due to a lumbar support which is not well adjusted. For example, if it's too low, I'm going to go like this. Or from a chair that will create pressure points here behind my pelvis and I'm going to have this tendency to run away from the pressure points. Okay? So basically everything which is going to impair the quality and the comfort of the chair in this area, this butt pelvis area, is likely to force you to transfer your weight to other areas and thereby potentially compress the nerves either in the elbow or in the carpal tunnel. But there are other reasons why you want to rest your weight here. And these reasons have something to do with round shoulders or slumped back. You see, if my upper back muscles don't do their job, I'm gonna go here. Where do you stop? Where your forearms stop you. Okay, so a lack of strength in the mid-back, mid-back extensors and latissimus dorsi is likely to contribute to this. But this can also simply be due to the fact that you don't take enough breaks. As soon as you don't take enough breaks, you're going to go like this. What is enough breaks is at least get up every 30 minutes. Other reasons. If your keyboard is far forward, like this one, well, there's a push forward, i.e. my weight is heavier yeah, in, for the lower back and the mid back, actually. So I need support from my forearms to, well, to not break my nose against the desk. Okay, and here we go again with compressions here and there. 
And last but not least, this round mid-back, shoulders forward, head forward, um, vicious cycle can be fed by everything which happens at eye level, which is small fonts, lack of visual acuity, visual discomfort, you name it. Visual discomfort due to ambient light, due to not taking enough breaks, due to working on a small screen, due to all that. As soon as your head is going to be projected forward, well, here you go again. So to cut a long story short, the short message here is to tell you, well, before running to the surgeon so that he, de he or she decompresses here in the elbow or here in the carpal tunnel, make sure that you're not creating pressure on these areas against your desk due to the fact that you would not be supported enough either in your lumbar support or by your mid-back muscles. And if you need to work on that, well, you have two solutions. Either you investigate on this channel, all the answers are here, or you give me a call, you put a, a comment here, I'm going to send you my email address, and we can set up an appointment to discuss the online posture programs.